started that everyday struggle, right? I remember it was the first time I ever walked in the complex. I don't know if you've been there before. Maybe you have. But once we started, I believe the day after, maybe two days after, at least, I don't know if you were told, but they told me, because there was a whole section full of people and computers. They said, all of them got fired. And I said, why? And they said, listen, they're mostly print writers for websites, this and third, who are switching to video. Now, I didn't take that as much during that time. But it was clear <laughs> that with, with, with us being at um, Complex and them acquiring just your talent and my talent in making the show, they clearly said, these people, maybe they were needed before, but now they're expendable. Be gone. Never really read into that, but now, you know, just hindsight is 2020. 20, I'm asking you, what did it say to you? Because, you know, a lot of times when we were talking, I was a lot of times trying to figure out, like, yo, I didn't get the mentality. You get me? And you were reading a lot of things from a perception level that you also, I, listen, you, you know, we've had some, like, moments in there, but I remember you were like, yo, act. Use TV. They're taking our shit that we signed a, a deal to only be on YouTube and they're upstreaming it to linear. They're putting it on TV. Big fucking problem. Another big fight in the whole building on Uzi's. Again, Spotify me, made that same announcement, by the way. That we're taking all our original shows and we're making television shows and upstreaming them, upstreaming them to TV. My fight is exactly the same as it was. Like, Complex is doing the same thing that Spotify did. Like, it's the same shit. When they mm. fired all of those print writers, it told me that we was a hit and we were so much of a hit that they're changing the entire business model of this company like I told you 20 minutes ago. Hey, when I got to Spotify, you know what they said? Hey, this ain't a music, this ain't a music platform anymore. <laughs> hey, this, this is a podcasting platform now. That's what it says. Mm. Hey, when I went, hey, you don't know, but I went and had another meeting with uh with Rich Antonelli and Cornell. We had one more sit down. I heard about it. I think <laughs> just to try to see if we could do it because it was the greatest show in the world, right? And people work with people that they don't get along with all the time. So we had one more sit down, and me and Ian said, Rich, just so we're clear. Because we have a YouTube page, and we know how much we're making from our YouTube page. How much are y'all making off the YouTube from Everyday Struggle? Like, the Everyday Struggle uploads. How, how much are y'all making from that? And why aren't we privy to it? Wouldn't that be important in renegotiation time? You know what Rich said? Same thing all these companies said. Well, we're using that money to pay for the, uh, a staff of over 400 people. Know what I said? 400 people don't work for everyday struggle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nigga, it's 10 of us that come in here in the morning. You think I just talk about 400 people? No, no, no. Oh, so you're telling me that I'm now paying for your payroll of your entire company. You think John will be all right with that? No, no. We walked away from that table. We walked away from that table. Because it's like, fair, how much are you going to take? And that's creator's problem. We broke, and we ain't never had shit because of oppression. So we just taking whatever they throw our way. But this is the time for that to change. There's too many of us that built this from the ground up. All we got to do is tell these niggas, no, suck our dick. They, people just can't do it like how you do it. Joe, you're a little abrasive. <laughs> Joe, Yo, you know how ballsy it has to be. You're in an exclusive spot. Think about this, because I study all broadcasters. Listen, you know, like, the last, when they're firing a radio personality, right, they usually don't allow that person to go live, or they cut it anytime they feel that person's about to slander that company. You went on a tirade for at least two episodes, pretty much kind of exposing and saying things about a that, that particular platform that was publishing and distributing your content that was probably not in their best and public interest. And I'm watching this shit, I'm like, yo, my whole thing to everybody is that that will not work for you. Don't ever try this. Joe is doing some shit. Hey, if it works for him, cool. Let's see if it changes some shit, but it will not work for anybody else. 
Well, Joe has a contract that says you can't edit my editorial. But the, I guarantee that contract doesn't say they have to put it out. They could have listened to it before and say it's not coming out. No, they can't do that. That's what, what the whole. That's what the whole. Because that is against your constitutional right and stepping on free speech. That's what they're trying to do with Joe Rogan right now. If you watch the news, every podcaster in Spotify is saying, "Edit him." He is saying hateful shit. We want him out of here. Spotify is like, Sam, we just gave him a hundred million dollars. He is not leaving. Sorry. And, no, no. Well, they they also they also want certain episodes down, and that's not published on on Spotify. So so what I'm saying is that if if, if say a Spotify exec hears you're talking crazy, at least to them. Yo, this episode of, of Joe Budden's podcast will not be published. It just will not. Then I'll publish it elsewhere. You, you, we have an exclusive deal. You cannot publish it elsewhere. Sure, I can. In an exclusive deal, you can't. Bam, a, a act. At the end of that contract, I would have did whatever the fuck I wanted to do. I, I did it that way because I was a professional. Like, I would have put my YouTube vids out the same day. I would have fucking, I could have wilded out at the end. I just got loud and boisterous, but I didn't wild out. I was very professional and ended it the right way. <clears throat> Joe, let me ask you because you know, again, you, you're one of the people I look at. I look at Charlotte, like you know, me and Charlotte, we talk a lot. Like he, he, he told me about his network a long time ago. Shit, you know, I'm about to bring a podcast um, um, to existence, and I had meetings with his network as well. So I look at like how you do things and how he does things and then what comes up especially when you know talking to people is like is Joe burning bridges yes do you feel you're burning bridges because yes. we can play this like you here's the thing with complex right even if I was ever to leave there I'm not going out on, on, on a, in a ball of fire of like yo the CEO is racist this person that which you kind of did and it's hard for me to even see complex doing any business at all even if, if it's with a subsidiary of a company you create because now they they have to be conditioned to think based on our dealings with joe budden we don't want to be in business with anything he's involved with so that's yeah, what, I just what i'm asking yeah, is like, do you feel but, like you're burning bridges yeah i am burning bridges man i, I love i love arson yes i'm burning bridges but the thing about that is Joe is a nine figure outfit now. So if Joe says I'm not doing business with you, it means Hold on, Joe, Joe. Joe. Yeah. You've said this nine figure thing a couple of times. Fact. I've tried to I'm, I'm a math Fact. major. I'm I trying to compute. You. I can't tell you. Fuck is you talking about? You. Stop. I can't tell Joe, you. Joe, stop. I can't Joe, tell you stop. public act. Act I can't tell you publicly because they'll kill stop. me. They will come to Joe, my house stop and kill me if I tell you. Joe, Joe, you think you're single-handedly responsible for nine figures of income? No, 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 no. You think I would go on that rant and think? No, I don't think anything. I know. But if that's the case, why wouldn't they acquiesce to whatever the fuck you asked for? Because I wouldn't allow them to insert advertising in my back catalog. And my new catalog. That's why. So it don't okay. matter if I was responsible for, let's call it $200 million through subscriptions and whatever else, right? If, if Joe is not going to let, if the new model says, yo, every podcast that comes here now, we have to either own it or we have to be able to place ads wherever we want without your permission. I do, I do hear that is the new model. And by the way, they, it is. They, it is. I'm still protect, I'm still protect. I'm still the nigga out here protecting consumer experience. No, I will not let you put ads all in my shit. Well, that tells them Joe ain't down to do business the way that they do business now. So it's over. Yeah, hold on, but, but Joe, I would imagine that you're you. They would probably just knowing how, how corporate people work, they would grandfather you into a deal that didn't require that oh no 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 no. that's the they problem they force you into that's, a new deal no that's the issue the issue is i had a grandfather contract so they could not do certain things and that was yeah. their beef so if i wasn't going to let go of that contract that i designed 
then for them, it would be all right, take this money. If you if you take this offer we're giving you, we'll keep fucking with you. Yeah. Most people would have took it. From what I hear, Spotify is not in the business currently of of allowing anyone they're signing to uh, exclusive deals to still own all their IP, Facts. still operate a certain type of way. Facts. And I would imagine that when they offered you a contract, they were not trying to own anything that they didn't already, you know, already um, have. Not true. They were trying to get everything they didn't have. And I said no. And they did not budge. No, they said, we're going to leave this offer here in case you change your mind. And I said, I ain't changing my mind. You can take it. Nah. That's, no, that's, hard, that's hard for me to understand. That's hard for me to, like, even fathom just because of, <clears throat> yo, in everything. Like, nigga, even with, y'all remember when um, um, AT&T, like, stopped offering Unlimited, but they were like, if you had Unlimited before we made the new rule, we'll grandfather you with, grandfathering into shit that, like, you can't, you can't, you can't do business with someone and then two years later, especially after they've helped you show, uh, like, concept or help build something, you're like, hey, this is the new rules. It's hard for me to think that, you know, Joe, I'm not going to lie. I see, I see Andrew, Andrew Schultz, you didn't mention, mention it. You know, he called Andrew. Yo, you be naming Some names people didn't tell I, me. I heard the 250 million thing, too. Act, do me I heard. I, I, I heard. Me. This is nothing about that. Listen Joe asked me. for an exorbitant amount of money, Act. and that money was looked at and compared with his numbers. And they Act. said, "Bro, fuck you are, you are a black king. I am a black king. Yeah. As black kings, we will endure and experience a duress that these white men." will not. It is not Andy Schultz's place to say to anybody what Joe should be asking for or shouldn't be asking for. Because Joe's plight, plight as a black man is something you'll never be able to fathom. Act, you watched me go to work and give my all at Complex for $20,000 a month. Yeah, you're trying to get killed. I get it. <laughs> I'm just saying, don't talk to me about money. You seen what I did with 20 grand a month. I don't. So, so listen to this, because we're on the internet and people are stupid. Just listen to this, even if it's false, because it is. Listen to the conversation now. Yo, did Joe ask for 250? What? Fam. I was an underground rapper. I never even imagined a conversation where I could ask for 250. I got to be so mature that my decisions are going to affect bum niggas like Troy Ave. But it's okay. I still got to get it popping. Because what if he gets something popping? It don't matter. It don't matter if we don't like each other. If he gets something popping, guess what? He should get paid. He won't, so he won't. But everybody after Joe got to be able to get it. Hold on. Yo, Joe, Joe. And, and this, is a, this is a super personal conversation that... Um, no, it ain't. Look, I ain't said nothing. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, no. What I'm going to say, what I'm going to say, that oh. for the people who are watching, you're privy to, I will say this, in, and it's backing up what you said. The, and I always say, like, people ask, like, hey, why did you stay at Complex, blah, blah, blah. What Joe did fight for... I ended up being a, 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 be a beneficial and a recipient of that. I get yes. a percentage of all gross receipts when it comes you know to everyday struggle. Wayno Way got a job after that. Hey, you know what else happened? The desk. Had... Hey, you know what else happened? The desk had got a makeup girl. Like, fam, nothing changes if nothing changes. Yeah, but, but hold on, hold on. So then I ask you, you're the sacrificial lamb and you're being like, because I, I, I tell people, I'm like, yo, I don't know. I said, maybe Joe would have got the same thing if he was patient. Hey, listen, I went in the office in there and now we're just telling all the business. But I went in the office. I went in Cornell's office toward the end and said, Cornell, I'm, I ain't going to hold you. I need a million dollars. 
I do need a million dollars. I know what y'all are generating. I know what we're doing. I see what it's doing for the brand. I need a million dollars. And Cornell, God bless his soul. He's not there anymore at Complex. God bless his soul. Cornell said to me, well, yeah, yeah, no, I'll fuck with Cornell. I do. But at the time, under orders from Rich Antonelli or whoever else, Cornell said to me, but Joe, if we give you a million dollars, you will be making more money than the fucking boss up here. You'll be making more than rich, Joe. And know what I said? So? <laughs> Yo, what the fuck do I care? Why are you telling me that? Hey, Drake makes more than fucking Sylvia Lucian. Rone, I'm sure. Lucian, you probably make sure. Lucian. Yeah, ain't nobody, hey, nobody's batting an eye at Drake. Know why? Because he's doing what he got to do. If Cornell was telling me that in this infrastructure, as currently constituted, I can't get to a million dollars, well, then you're showing me the ceiling above my head. I got to go. Let me ask you a question. Yo, we did Everyday Struggle for nine months. And that's I went the and time got, it takes and, to and, and, and I went and got that million dollars. See, that's the part niggas don't never talk about <laughs> when they say Joe go crazy. They don't say, yo, Joe go crazy, but he always keep going up. <laughs> Nah, Joe, I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh, hold on. Yo, some yo, a lot of people hit me because I had a lot of conversation. They say, yo, they said, Joe is capping by that million dollars. They said, Joe didn't go get a million from there and a million from there. Cause I was saying that, I was like, yo, I asked a couple, I said, Am I underestimating my worth? Yeah. Because if Joe idiot. said he got a million. Yes, you fucking imbecile. What do you think I've been trying to tell you niggas for years? Yes. I left that building. And went and got with Puff and got an M. I went and got with Mona. I got an M. I went and got my pull-up shit. I got a couple M's. I went to Spotify. I got a couple M's. I'm up already, nigga. What are y'all doing out there? Charlemagne can't, he shouldn't be able to speak to me. I'm not trying to be funny because I love him and we got a deal. We're not going to talk about each other. But what I'm saying is <laughs> don't condition the people to think that Joe don't know what he's saying. When Joe kind of goes to work two Yo, days Joe. a week. Yo, I'm, I'm being honest with you. I had so many conversations. Like, like people like, Yo, I, we see what's being, what's being given to these people in these places. Joe is not being honest. Because I'm telling you, it felt like I was undervaluing myself. Nigga, no, I talked to my lawyer. I talked to my lawyer. I said, listen, oh, uh, Am I lowballing you in when you need to go ask for money for me? Because, you know, like, I'm, I'm, I be chilling, you know, I be doing my thing. And also, I do feel like, you know what I mean? Like, because of, like, the, the empire I've kind of built, I'm like, I'm so, like, happy already. I'm like, but it could be more. And I'm like, yo, Joe said he got a million for what? And what? And then the people told me, relax. Joe is just doing propaganda. He's doing the, he's doing the Joe shit. He's getting people no, 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 to no, 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 hey, you'll interview Puff one day and you talk to him. You'll interview Mona one day and you'll talk to him. You'll, you'll see the cash out. I heard, Actually, hey, listen. I heard, listen. I heard big fucking cap on, the, uh, on Love & Hip Hop. They said Love & Hip Hop will not and never give Joe Budden. And I was like, because I ain't gonna lie to you. I was like, yo, I got a couple of stories to tell. Yo, you see that girl who be talking shit about all type of rappers and shit? I'm like. That's your girl. That's your people, right? That's your ex. Don't say that. <laughs> yeah, nah, I'm You're messy. <laughs> no, you, don't, Hold you, don't, don't. you don't have no ties to that girl? Hey, if Mona hits us up for a million dollars, we have been in a very intimate relationship for the last 10 years. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. So when I heard those numbers, I'm like, yo, either Joe is like, you know, like, because one thing, I'm gonna give, and, and this is just me giving you credit here. I look at all the top creators and broadcasters. You know what I give you credit for the best? And I've always said, it even goes back to even the, what Nadesco always says about you. You're good at like a, a narrative, whether true or not. And, and it's like, Joe's a great orator. You're a better orator than me, way better than me, Charlemagne, anybody. And I thought about it and I said, it makes sense. This guy has been dealing with <laughs> put words together in a certain way for all his life. Me and Charlemagne, we just been talking shit. He had to do it in rhymes, in battle rap. He had to talk, like, you have, because I'm listening to you on all these rants, and certain shit you say, I'm like, 
This nigga's good. <laughs> this no, nigga's I'm, good. Look at I'm not bad. <laughs> I'm just not bad, man. Listen, no. I would love to come to work and just joke around and just, you know, <laughs> but every now and then you gotta get you gotta get in that bag. That was important for the for the podcasters and the creators that's coming after me. What do you think you're worth? I can't tell you. On the open market, forget about even a podcast. Somebody wants Joe Budden to do, I don't know, maybe another show with me. Somebody wants you to just have a nightly show. How do you, you establish your worth? You, you won't let me get you some money. You won't let me get you some money. Hey. hey Joe, you going to burn every show, bridge I got? Another <laughs> show with me and you? Oh, you going to burn man. every bridge? <laughs> hey, I'm going to see I'm going to see Larry Jackson soon, man. Come on, let me go talk to him. Let me go get us some money. All right, we could do it. Hey, Joe, Joe, talk to me. <laughs> no, yo, here's the thing though. Joe, the way you kind of move though is a little unorthodox. Joe, you you're running through with a flamethrower. You're Always. not playing it. Hold on. Also, also, this is where I also have issues. And, and, and you know, that might have just been a personal thing, right? With you and Charlemagne. But Joe, you do know that, like, if 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 somebody offers you right now fifty million dollars for the Joe Budden Network, right, fifty percent ownership, it's a joint venture, and they're gonna fund it, fifty million dollars. All you have to do is use your power, influence, whatever, sign people, and blah blah, and and also hire staff to kind of operate and do whatever. You would not say that's a L. I don't think you would. So when I saw you criticize Charlemagne's deal, or whatever, I was like. I think Joe might be too. Go ahead. You might be too personal with it. Go ahead. Again, I want to make myself clear that I support whatever it's doing and his plan. I have to say that because I don't know who's here. I don't know who's listening. I don't know who's watching. My question that I needed other creators to ponder was if it's 50% his. Go try to sell 50%. Go to Amazon and see what they'll offer you for your 50%. If it's truly 50%, go to Apple and see if they'll give you a 100%.